The provision of drivers and models has been a somewhat controversial issue in the past, with model manufacturers claiming that modellers preferred to install their own crew, and some more vocal modellers echoing the same sentiment. But the results of the recent poll on this channel show a very different story. It's time to take a closer look. Hi, thanks for joining today. In this video, we will take a look at the recent poll on the channel, which asked for your input on the fitting of drivers within WO gauge models. We'll then consider the potential reasons why modelers might express a particular preference. And finally, we'll consider what we might like to see manufacturers do based upon the poll results. Okay, let's get into it. So first of all, let's look at the poll. The question asked was, when you purchase a diesel locomotive model, what is your preference with regard to the installation of a driver slash crew? Now I only specified diesel models here, but this would also represent electric models as well. I do believe that steam is slightly different and people may have different preferences when it comes to the installation of crew in a steam model. Hence that's not part of the scope of this discussion. And we'll only look at this from the perspective of diesel and electric models going forward. The poll had four options. The first of these is if you would prefer to see drivers or crew pre-fitted. The second was if you would prefer to add your own. The third is if you didn't like to have drivers in your models at all. And the last one was you simply didn't care one way or the other. 260 viewers responded to the poll. So what does this mean statistically? Well, the viewing stats from my channel show that for every one viewer who is a subscriber, there are three viewers who are not. So how representative of the double O gauge modeling community is this? My YouTube stats show that the age split for all viewers is 60% for the age group over 55 and 40% for under 55. This is probably not too far off the mark in terms of the broader adult railway modeling community. For this sort of population, the sample size of 260 gives us a 90% confidence level with a 6% margin of error. 95% confidence would be better, of course, but when you look at the results, I believe the 90% is good enough for this particular poll at this point. The biggest outcome of the poll is that we had a whopping 71% saying they would prefer the driver or crew to be pre-installed at the factory. Next up, we have only 8% who would prefer to add their own driver or crew. There's such a big difference between these two numbers as to blow out any window of anecdotal claims or arguments I've heard in the past claiming modelers don't want drivers pre-installed. 5% of modelers didn't like having drivers installed in their models at all. The last category is those who don't care either way, and 16% of you fall into this group. Now, if you remove this last group and just consider those who expressed a preference, then you get the following. 84% looking for a pre-fitted driver or crew, 10% wanting to add their own, and 6% who don't like to have a crew installed at all. Even with the limitations on sample size, I believe this is a pretty conclusive result. So why have respondents who expressed a preference chosen a particular response? Let's take them in order. For the first group are those whose preference would be to have a driver or crew pre-installed when they receive their model. Let's look at the benefits to the modeler with this approach in no particular order. The first is the risk of damage to the model. Many models don't make it easy to access the cab area and provide no instructions on how to do so. Putting modelers in a precarious position when attempting to add a driver, particularly for more expensive models, Having a driver pre-fitted from day one removes any potential risks of damage when fitting one. Sourcing an appropriate driver for your model can be very challenging and many modelers have had to resort to overseas sources which add to the cost or you may have to resort to a HO scale driver. With a pre-fitted driver, the sourcing challenge is put back on the manufacturer. 3D printers potentially offer a solution, but not every modeler has one and there is still a level of work in sourcing a suitable 3D file and the subsequent painting afterwards. Even more challenging for modern era modelers is finding driver models that better reflect what you'll find in the cab of a locomotive over the last 20 years in particular. Finding a driver for your era can in itself be very challenging, but achieving any sort of representative diversity, be it on age, sex or ethnicity, as you would see in reality, is going to be even more challenging. Now I can see any modeling manufacturer rolling their eyes in despair at this point, and I can understand that. This may be a bridge too far for now, but it is worth keeping in mind. And again, 
If your focus is on authenticity, then you will want a level of diversity, particularly for the modern era. Convenience. If you are time poor, or simply don't want to spend the modeling time you have on attempting to access the cab area on a challenging model, then the convenience of a prefitted driver is huge, even if you have to pay a little bit more for your model. The last one is cost. And as mentioned, suitable drivers can be very challenging to source, which very often results in modelers having to purchase their drivers overseas, and this results in additional postage and things like import costs. The combination of all of the above will result in many modelers who may have liked the idea of having a driver installed, ending up not bothering to do so, as it's simply too much hassle. Hence why the notion of having a driver pre-installed in the factory is so appealing. Now at CureScale have been procuring 3D printed model drivers uh, that are authentic for different eras and for particular locomotives. So that is to be commended. The only extension of that is to actually pre-install those drivers into the models from day one. But it is good to see this and the provision, I think, of more accurate drivers like this may even encourage those people who would not prefer to see pre-fitted drivers to take them if the quality of the drivers was up to scratch. Now, the next grouping is those who would prefer to add their own driver or crew to a model. So why may they want to do this? They may want a driver fitted, but they aren't satisfied with the quality of pre-fitted drivers they've experienced in the past. This is very understandable, and my only surprise in this poll is that this option scored so low. Individuals who selected this option likely have sources of drivers who they're happy with, or they may own a 3D printer and prefer to produce their own. The next reason is that this could be an integral part of the model experience for them. I suspect many in this category would also undertake their own customization of models, be it weathering, adding additional detailing parts, renumbering, etc. They love this aspect of the hobby, and adding a driver is just part of the process for them to create a model that they are fully satisfied with. The next one is really that people want to have control over every aspect of their model. They would prefer to have the option to add a driver if they so wished, and to whichever side of the locomotive that suited them, or both sides, for example. Again, this is very understandable that there will be a category of modelers who are looking for this. Now, if we go to the very last option that we had, these are the people who didn't wish to have a driver in their models at all. So why might this be the case? If the model is purely for display purposes, I can see why people may not wish to have a driver installed at all. And again, there are modelers who do this. Uh, their models sit in glass display cases and they never actually find their way onto the track, in which case there's no real reason to put a driver in there in the first place. So that's understandable. It could also be the case that they're just not happy with the drivers that they've seen pre-fitted and hence would prefer to run without a driver altogether, even if they are running the model on their layout. So regardless of which category you reside in, please feel free to share your rationale in the comments, particularly if I haven't covered it in this video so far. So where does this leave us in terms of what we would like to see from manufacturers going forward? The results are pretty conclusive, so I don't believe they can or should be ignored, while still considering the position of the two smaller categories. Let me outline a potential policy for manufacturers that would align with the outcome of this survey. Number one. All diesel and electric locomotives, including DMUs and EMUs, to have a single appropriate driver installed in the cab of the leading end of the locomotive. Number two, the provision of easy access to the cab area with instructions provided in the box on how to access it. And to be honest, this should be a no brainer across all models. It should be there today. And this would meet the requirements of everybody who took this particular poll. Thirdly, affix the driver in a way that will allow easy removal should the purchaser wish to do so without leaving any significant visible impact either to the cab or to the driver's seat. So I think using an appropriate glue or some other form of adhesion would be the way to look at this, as well as providing easy access to the cab in the first place, as per our second point. I believe the above will not only meet the stated desires of the majority, will also provide the two other groupings with an acceptable solution. Item two will also facilitate someone adding additional crew if required, or moving the driver between ends, for example, or replacing the driver if they're not happy with the pre-fitted driver in the first place. So what are your thoughts on what you would like to see manufacturers do? Dissenting voices to my own or to any seemingly populist viewpoint are not just accepted but encouraged on this channel. So let's hear from you. That's the way we all learn from each other after all. So please let me know your views and suggestions in the comments, as well as your rationale for favoring one approach versus another. 
The poll remains open, so if you haven't done so already, please pop along and cast your vote. Please hit a like if you found this video of interest. Hope to see you on the next one, and in the meantime, take care and happy modelling.